We're going to go uh, give the big Joe herd a bale of hay um, real quick. I'm taking the skid steer actually to our cabins to do some work. So um, that's why I'm kind of putting out hay now because I'm going to have it over there for a couple of days. I'm going to show you how and some of the problems we go that I go through just going through a gate. Not only am I dealing with they're anxious and ready to get some hay. They're, you know, they hear the gate. They maybe think they're moving pastures. Besides dealing with all that, I got a bale of hay on here. I've got to put the bale of hay down, get out, open the gate, and try to get through there before it, they get through it because sometimes that happens. Let's go see the big Joe herd. You know, like with the skid steer, and you've got that bale of hay, you've got to set it down, you've got to back up. So you can climb out of the skid steer. You have to unlock the gate, then leave the gate sitting there and you hope that it just doesn't swing open. Get back in your skid steer. Then you've got to hook back up to the bell of hay. Then you got to push the bell of hay to open the gate. And then you hope it, you got to hit it just right because if you hit that gate too hard, it'll fly wide open and then the bison will run through it. So you have to barely push that gate to get through there. And then when you get through, you've got to set the bale of hay down again, back up so you can climb out of the skid steer uh, because the boom will cover it up. The boom covers up the door. So that's why I have to set the bale of hay down, back up so I can get out and then run and shut the gate as soon as I can. All right, so I know this is something that you guys have been seeing me do a lot of right now and that's just that time of the year it's it's winter you're feeding hay one of the reasons i wanted to make this video specifically uh, about this is because i've had some questions and comments recently from some awesome followers uh about you know on the skid steer why do you cut the wrap off when it's on the ground why don't you cut the wrap off when it's high in the air and when you got it lifted won't you cut the wrap off of it then well here's one of the answers to that is can't get out of the skid steer that's one of the problems so right here this is the boom the hydraulic lift when it raises up it lifts this up and so you can't get out of the door that's one of the reasons why i can't do that well Now there is a feature where you can raise this thing all the way up and this is where some people say don't do this and there's people that have been injured in the past with maybe some older material maybe some newer equipment um, this is a, a 2021 model so it's not very old but there's a feature inside of this skid steer where there's a you can lift up the boom to a certain height where you can get out and the hydraulics will sit there on that level on that height and there's a switch it's an actual safety lever that you can lock the hydraulic boom lift and have it set where just in case the hydraulics do fail they won't fall because of you did the safety latch on the inside so that's something that i use i don't use it that often it's just you know something about a thousand pound hay bale you got a boom above you you know i've heard a lot of old farmers tales and my grandpa uh, you know, farm almost his entire life and my dad, um, and I've heard all these horror stories. And so it's just something about getting under a bell of hay, getting under, um, you know, a front end loader, basically the front end of a piece of uh, equipment. And sometimes I've had to do that, um, with that safety lever on, but it, I just really don't like to do it, to be honest with you. So what that means is, is I have to basically set the bale of hay down, scoop back, get out, cut the wrap off, pull the wrap off of it as much as I can. The weight of the hay bale is still setting on that wrap. So basically what I have to do at that point, you see me get my uh, 10 second workout for the day, driving my legs through, right? Through that bale of hay. 
push that hay bale to get it off the wrap and then I and then I pick up the wrap and throw it on my skid steer and I tuck it basically right in here behind the attachment and then I'll throw it away in the barn later. Uh, so right now what we've had to do is we're actually putting out a, a bale of hay probably every two or three days now especially for this herd. There's 22 in this group. There's only nine in the Big Joe herd so uh, this is more effective and I've talked to you about while we kind of roll it out and all that. So I don't know if you guys noticed or not, my brother-in-law, Daniel at Arms Family Homestead, he got a new skid steer almost just like mine. Um, his is a 337, I believe. And uh, it's actually the same size of skid steer as mine. Same cab, it has the same look to it, same size of everything. The only difference is his, it has more weight on the back end of his, and uh, which gives it a little bit more lifting capacity and then front. So uh, this thing's made a huge difference out here on this property.